following instructional will provide guidelines on how to perform and proctor an electromyogram using a surface EMG. The purpose of this test is to determine electrical activity of the muscles during muscular contraction. This test consists of three experiments, including a reference test before each experiment. Prepare the electrode and the receiver for the first experiment. To do this, locate the muscle belly of the biceps brachii by making a line from the medial acromion to the cubital fossa and mark an X one third of the way from the cubital fossa. Wipe the area with an alcohol wipe and allow to dry. Place the electrode over the marked area parallel with the muscle fibers. Have the subject flex the muscle to ensure that the electrode is in the center of the muscle belly and adjust accordingly. Attach the wires to the electrode and attach the receiver to the arm approximately one centimeter away from the electrode. Ensure that the wires do not cross. The subject is now ready to perform the MBC. Have the subject rest their forearm on a steady flat surface. Next, the leader will apply resistance to the wrist of the subject, not allowing for the subject to move as the subject attempts to flex the elbow with maximal effort for five seconds. The subject will then complete one set of three repetitions of a bicep curl at 10% of their body weight. Then another set of three repetitions at 20% of their body weight after a three minute rest. Next, preparation for experiment two and three must be completed. For experiment two, find the muscle belly of the rectus femoris by making a line from the anterior superior iliac spine to the superior portion of the patella and mark an X halfway between these anatomical markers. Next, prepare the electrodes and receiver as shown in experiment one. For experiment three, find the muscle belly of the biceps femoris. Locate the ischial tuberosity by having the subject sit in a chair and finding the protruding bone. Once the ischial tuberosity is located, make a line down to the lateral epicondyle of the tibia and mark an X halfway between these anatomical markers. Prepare the electrodes and receiver as shown in experiment one. Now, perform the MVC for experiment two by having the subject sit on a chair or a surface and the leader sat in front of the subject's legs, holding the ankle of the marked leg. The subject will attempt to extend their leg as the leader holds the ankle in place for four seconds. Perform the MVC for experiment three by having the subject lay prone with both legs fully extended as the leader holds the ankle of the marked leg. The subject will then attempt to flex their leg as the leader holds the ankle in place for four seconds. The subject will then perform one set of three repetitions of a goblet squat at 20% of the subject's body weight for the second experiment. For the third experiment, the subject will perform one set of three repetitions of a single leg deadlift at 20% of the subject's body weight. Now with all the values found, determine percent MVC by dividing mean EMG by peak MVC. Mm -hmm.